Hello everyone. Welcome to the ITLS Academy. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the SPICE board. Okay. So before starting the lecture, we have to know that what is this a SPICE. After that, we are going to discuss the scenario of the SPICES in the year 2010 or 11. Okay. So uh, here, we, what, we, what we are going to discuss, here we are going to discuss about the history, scope, importance and current scenario and GAP of spices. So in today's lecture, these are the topic which we are going to discuss. Okay, so the first one is you, we are going to discuss the history of the spices. We all know that the story of the spices are around 700 year, 7000 year old. Okay, uh, there is the archaeologists who discovered that the spices are Egyptian tombs around a 3000 BC. Okay. Now, this uh, archaeological evocation also burned clue onto the floor of the kitchen and this clue are burned uh, on 1700 BC at the time of the Meso Mesopotamian. Okay. So, this spy trade are um, developed throughout the country like your South Asia, Middle, Middle East around 2000 BC and the cinnamon and people are used as a herb and people in East Asia. Okay, if we talk about the ancient Indian epic like your Ramayan, they also mention the clues, the river that the history of the Indian spices are from a back of the beginning of the human civilization. Now see what is written in a slide. Indian story of the spices more than around 7,000 7, years old. Archaeologists discovered spices in Egyptian tomb in 3000 BC. Archaeological evocation have worn clove into onto the floor of the kitchen which are dated as 1700 BC at the time of the Mesopotamian. The spices trade developed throughout the South Asia. Middle East around 2000 BC with the cinnamon and pepper in East Asia with herbs and pepper. The ancient Indian epic Ramayana mentioned about the cloves. It revealed that the history of the Indian spices dated back to the beginning of the human civilization. Okay, so this is the some point of the history related to the history. Now some important landmark in the history of the spices like uh, if we talk about the around 6000 BC then it is remarked as the um, important or important and use of the spices in a Vedic text okay when um, the important and the use of the spices in a Vedic text uh, text it will uh, occur in 6000 BC now in um, in between the 6000 and 2100 6000 BC and 2100 BC Pyramid age are remark. Okay. And this is about the spices in the Egyptian history and the use of the spice, uh, spices in the mummies as a preservative. Okay. For the preservation of the mummies, this is spi spices are used. Okay. And it is also uh, remark as the pyramid age. Now, in 1550 to 600 BC, Charka and Shurta, they mentioned the use of the people in a Pepper in a medicine. Okay. Now, in the first century, Chinese envoy they visit the Malabar coast in the search of the pepper. Now, in 1851 AD, Chinese traveler Suleiman they visited Kerala coast and they recorded that the black people cultivation and trade with the China. Now, in, in 1200 AD, China imported the larger quantity of paper from the Malabar to the Java. Okay. So, in 200 AD, the import of the, uh, this, uh, uh, the import uh, of the spices started and the first import was the paper and paper and they are imported from the Malabar coast to the Java. Okay. Now, the next is your Vasco de Gama discovered the sea route to India arrived at Calicut in 1498. Okay. Now, in 1500, Pedro Alvarez Cabral, they landed in Calicut and they established the supremacy of the Portugal over the 
spices train in a malabar cost now in 1600 british east india established a company and this company are establishes for the trading of the spices okay so we all know that the the britishers are landed in india on 24th of august 1600 at surat now in between 1700 to 1800 the french came for a spices trade now in 17 between 1795 to 1800 america entered the trade of the pepper now in 1950 to 1953 first research station was established in india at panyur kerala and is this established for a pepper now in 1979 first uh, international paper community are established and it is established in a jarkata indonesia now in 1986 national research center for spices are established that is nrcs uh, nrcs are what it is a national research center for spices okay now this nrcs are upgraded in 1986 okay and it is upgraded as a indian institute of spice research that is your ii cr it is occurring in 1996 now the next one is your scope and importance we all know that this uh, the climate of the india are very diverse and they have a several agro ecological reason okay so that's why it provide the opportunity for the growth of the several spices okay and it is uh, also have a low volume and high volume of crop both are uh, will grow so this uh, spices also play a unique role in the indian economic by the improving the income of the rural people okay this labor intensive uh, they what they so generate a lot of employment for the opportunity of the rural population the demand of the indian spices is very much high in the other countries because uh, however we have very much scope to meet that demand by huge production now see what is written in the slide india has a diverse soil and climate and several agro ecological reason which provide the opportunity to grow a variety of the spices crop it is very low volume and high value crop spice crop play a unique role in indian economy by improving the income of the rural people labor intensive so generate a lot of employment opportunity for the rural population the demand of the indian spices is very much in other countries hence we have very much scope to meet the demand by a huge production okay now these spices are also improve the palatability and appeal of the dal diet okay the person who is taking dal diet this spices also increase the palatability and appeal flavor stimulated sal salivation and it promote the digestion okay it also enhance the flavor and promote the digestion improve the health by affecting the humors and moods sanguine uh, phlegmatic choleric and melancholic okay they have uh, also have a anti antibacterial and preservative action like your pickles okay uh, they also have a strong preservative uh, quality like uh, uh, and it is ideal for a embalming okay now the next one is your scenario of spices now in this like in this slide uh, after this slide we are going to discuss the different scenario of the spices okay now the if we call, talk about the current uh, status then we all know that india is the land of the spices okay the variety of the spices are grow in the land of the india okay and we all know that the india are the largest producer consumer and even the exporter of the spices because there is a variety of the spices are are grow in the land of the india india that's why they called a largest producer largest consumer and largest exporter okay and this china are on the second largest producer and 
the 90% of domestic uh, the 90% 90% of the production of the uh, spices are consumed in a domestic consumption okay so if you talk about the all over india then there are around 109 spices are there okay and in india it is around 52 number of spices okay and this spices are um, are contribute in no, agriculture export around 6% okay and they share a worldwide trade around 45 to 50% and by volume it is 25 to 30% by value okay now see what is written in this slide india land of the spices india largest producer consumer exporter of the spices china second largest producer nine more than, more than 90% for domestic consumption 109 spices for all over the world and india 52 spices okay it is the number of the spices which are present in india share of spices in total agriculture export around 6% india share of world spice trade around 45 to 50% by volume and 25 to 30% by value okay now come to the next one now in 2011 the total export of spices touch around uh 51533 84.46 lakh okay and 525750 turn okay now this value are added spices curry powder pasta mint product and spices oil and uh, olive oil has contributed the around 43% of the total foreign earning during the during this period export of paper was uh, paper was major contributed which had gone around 18 18850 turn which value is 77088.5 lakhs okay so this is the this data is for 2011 year okay now the next one is your area production and productivity like chilies it the area is around 7921.1 and production is around 122 3.4 and productivity is 1.5 so here the list of the different crop and their product area and their production and their productivity like cumin see cumin is around 507.8 ha area and production is around 314.2 and its productivity is around 0 oh, sorry uh -huh, it is 0 0.6 okay like your uh, cinnamon cinnamon is uh, around area 29 production is around 5.0 and productivity is around 1.7 okay so here uh, these are what these are the list of the uh, product along with their area and production and productivity okay since uh, this is your production share under a major spices in india okay like coriander is around 9.01 percent ginger is around 13.12 percent turmeric is around 18.56 percent garlic is around 19.77 percent chili is around 22.8 percent okay so here the cumin is around 5.87 okay and then turmeric uh, it is your Tamarid, it is around 3.86 percent okay so here the paper is around 0.17 percent okay ajwan is around 0.1 percent newtmerg is around 0.2 percent uh, clove is around 0.02 percent okay and other is around 0.28 percent okay so this is the production share under our major spices in india okay now the next one is your state um, state wise area production and productivity okay so if we talk about the andhra pradesh then andhra pradesh sh sh produces around 289.2 ha area for the production of the spices and their production is around 1069.2 mt and their productivity is around 3.7 okay if you talk about the gujarat then it will uh, produce um, they have an area around 479.4 ha for the production of the spices and they produce they, the production is around 792.6 and productivity is around 1.7 okay so here the kerala is um kerala will uh, um, Kerala 233.48 area for the production of the spices and the production is around 113.1 MT and uh, the productivity is around 0.5. So here uh, the list of the state, different state and their area production and productivity.
witty now the next see so this is the um, map of uh, india and here the mustard fennel and clove you see that in a map uh, see this area that is your kerala kerala tamil nadu karnataka see these three area have a, a have, have a farming of clove okay and see this gujarat rajasthan idhar uh, uh, this side delhi okay and this is bihar this is the farming of mustard okay mizoram nagaland meghalaya okay and see this fenny here the uh, rajasthan gujarat okay here the farming of the fenny so typically this is the map which show that the uh, farming of mustard fennel and clove growing state in india okay so this is about it now the next one is your see this is the uh, Uh, this is the uh, information about the state in which pomegranate seed nutmeg and fenugreek are grow okay see pomegranate are grow in maharashtra tamil nadu see these two state okay now uh, if we talk about the nutmeg nutmeg are grow in a karnataka kerala tamil nadu okay okay that's it now the next one is your fenugreek fenugreek can be grow in gujarat rajasthan uttar pradesh okay see this is, uh, sorry uttaranchal not uttar pradesh uttaranchal okay this is uh, basically the uttar pradesh okay and madhya pradesh chatisgarh and west bengal okay so this is the state in which these uh, the pomegranate seed nutmeg and fenugreek are grow now the next is your uh, information about the chili garlic and ginger growing state okay so see the chili can be grow in uh, jammu and kashmir punjab himachal uttaranchal uttar pradesh okay rajasthan gujarat maharashtra karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh jharkhand orissa see this is a bihar okay here nagaland manipur mizoram tripura okay now this gar garlic can be grow in uh, kashmir okay the next is your uh, rajasthan rajasthan can also grow uh, ginger gujarat uh, ginger madhya pradesh ginger okay even uh, ginger can be grow in uttaranchal and uttar pradesh meghalaya okay so this is the information about the chili garlic and ginger growing state in india okay now the next one is your cumin any seed vanilla growing state in india so this uh, punjab uh, punjab uh, uttaranchal see punjab uttaranchal your meghalaya assam madhya pradesh jharkhand jharkhand and they are what they are growing state of any seed okay cumin can be grow in rajasthan gujarat uttar pradesh uh, uttaranchal madhya pradesh uh, chatisgarh okay and uh, vanilla uh, vanilla can be grow in karnataka pondicherry tamil nadu okay so these are the growing state of cumin any seed vanilla vanilla okay now the next is your uh, growing state of turmeric ajwain saffron okay so saffron uh, we all know that uh, jammu and kashmir jammu is the best place for the growth of this uh, saffron okay now the next one is your uh, turmeric turmeric can be grow in kashmir himachal uttaranchal rajasthan gujarat maharashtra karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh orissa chatisgarh madhya pradesh jharkhand west bengal bihar ओके उत्तर प्रदेश हियर और अरुणाचल प्रदेश मेघालय मणिपुर मिजोरम त्रिपुरा मेघालय नागालैंड ओके सो दीज आर व्हाट दीज आर द स्टेट इन विच टर्मरिक अजवाइन एंड सेफ्रॉन कैन बी ग्रो सो द नेक्स्ट इज योर एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ एक्सपाइसेस फ्रॉम इंडिया सो हियर द नेम ऑफ द क्रॉप दैट इज योर पीपर कार्डमन कार्डमन एल चिली जिंजर टर्मरिक कोरिएंडर cumin fenugreek clary fennel garlic turmeric spice oil oleo resins and other spices okay here the quantity at which this crops are grow and here the value of that 
quantity okay so, uh, so uh, if you see that ginger ginger can be grow around 15750 turn okay and the value is around 12131.25 lakh here uh, if we talk about the garlic then garlic can be grow 17300 turn and uh, the value of 17300 turn is 6977.30 lakh okay so this is the export as spices from the india okay so now the next is your major country wise export as spices from the india like major countries uh, in which uh, um, export of spices uh, are done usa malaysia china ue uk sri lanka and bangladesh okay and the next is your import of spices from india so the spices which are imported from india are pepper cardamom l cardamom s chili ginger turmeric coriander cumin garlic clove nutmeg uh, mace other spices oil and olecerones okay so if we see that cumin cumin can be uh, import around 515 ton and the value of this 515 ton is 593.30 crore if we see that chili chili can be um, import around 450 ton and the value of 450 turn is 408.2.5 lakh okay so this is the import of spices from india okay import of spices by india uh, if we see that in 2009 to 2010 it is about uh, 106700 and the value is 11045.7 lakh okay so this is the month wise total export of spices from the india and the next was the next one is your threat from other nation in the global uh, spices okay if we see that the uh, other uh, other nation uh, which are competitor of india so you see if see that garlic garlic, garlic can be grow in china as well as thailand coriander can be grow in morocco as well as bulgaria cumin can be grow in turkey as well as syria ginger can be grow in china and nigeria black pepper vitamin uh, uh, vietnam and brazil cardamom uh, guatemala uh, seed spices turkey morocco and egypt okay so now the next one is your what is gap that is your good agriculture uh, practices in spices okay so uh, according to united nation food and agriculture organization practice that address environmental economic and social sustainability for an farm process and result in safe and quality food and non food agriculture product that is called a gap gap is a set of principles regulation and technical recommendation okay so the, this gap is basically what basically is a series of principle regulation and the technical recommendation which are applicable to the production processing and food transport which are addressing human health care environment protection and improvement of worker condition and their families okay now the next is your what is the aim of the uh, gap basically the main aim of the gap is what that uh, the food that are produced are healthy and they contain a less amount or minimum amount of the chemical okay even the food are safe and they uh, also have a zero or microbial load means that microbial load will absent okay now the next one is your Uh, like uh, preservative of environmental while exploiting the uh, preservation of from the environment while uh, while exploiting the resources okay so see what is written in a slide healthy food production with minimum chemical use safe and safety food towards zero microbial load preservation of environment while exploiting the resources okay the major practices of uh, gap are what soil management crop production and protection and on farm processing okay so what is the soil fertility and soil conservation basically we all know that uh, uh, we have to keep the ground covered with the crop or a mulch okay then plant cover a crop as soon as land is clear construct drain to avoid the rapid flow which cause a erosion use of mulches add a manure and plant litter uh, after pursuing where organic matter is low leave uh, leave leave fall and from pranan from the shed tree in the field okay now the next is your nutrient we have to use a combination of mulches and fertilizers local fertilizer recommendation should be used but always taking uh, 
into account the actual condition of the crop use of leguminous species do not use ash from the fire on full because peel because it will reduce the soil acidity okay now the next is your algal bloom is spawn within a farm should be investigated as they indicate nutrient leakage to surface water pest management system should be done uh, we have to use a pesticide on a spices sorry the use of the pesticides uh, on the spices should be avoided because it will contaminate the spices the use of the pesticide may kill the natural enemies enemies of the pest as well as epidemic to develop serious pest investigation can occur seek advice to a integrated pest management now application must be restricted to those products recommended by the national research institute pesticide must not be used if workers are not trained okay so the pesticide should be used uh, always used by a worker who have a knowledge about the uh, pest management or the pesticide okay so we cannot uh, give a uh, this give this pest to a local worker who have no knowledge about it before uh, performing this experiment we sorry before performing this work we have to train the worker about it okay now the next one is your weed control use effective mechanical method including the use of mulches use cost effective mechanical method including the use of mulches if weeds are the problem in a spices crop consider whether this is a result of uh, uh, pruning policy ensure that the safer compounds such as uh, glyphosate are used wherever practical Uh, use ultra low volume or similar technology to minimize the discharge chemical level okay now the next is your biodiversity we have to consider that the impact of the new planting before land preparation start maintain the area of the land with native plant species and where uh, wildlife can live plant trees that can be used to control a pest for example neem plant, plant wood lot that will produce a firewood while maintaining a diversity of native spices uh, water irrigation should be done we have to use a building with the appropriate roofing so that the water tank or collecting water should be avoided okay so this is about the water local economy okay uh, who benefit from the gap former consumer and the population in general okay so this is the um, like uh, security of the people uh, environment animal welfare food safety okay so healthy and good quality product which improve the nutrition and nourishment of the family healthy worker children attend in the school so this is all about the uh, this is all about the spice board or spices i hope you will understand if you have any query related to this topic you can ask me in a comment box or for a further detail you can follow the itls academy on different platform like instagram facebook twitter youtube whatsapp linkedin and subscribe our channel itls academy on youtube and get our app from a google play uh, or for a for a for the query you can uh, also ask your query to the helpline number that i already mentioned in your slide you can also visit our website that is www.itlsacademy.com thank you for watching please like share and subscribe our channel